This is Woods to Table, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to skin a deer, a pig, or other large game with a golf ball. Stay tuned. This is an instructional video for educational purposes for those who clean and process wild game. We've done our best to remove or blur any graphic shots of the animal. However, some shots of deer hide and carcass are necessary to preserve the educational value of the video. All right, we were fortunate enough to harvest the deer tonight. Man, I'm excited. None too soon either because it's just a couple of days till Christmas. So excited to have some fresh venison to put on the table. I'm gonna show you guys how we skin this thing in just a couple of seconds with just a golf ball and a rope. So we've got our deer strung up here. Uh, I got it strung up by the head. You could do this either by the head or by the hind quarters. I prefer to do it by the head. Um, so we're just gonna start skinning here just behind the ears. You need to start skinning just a little bit to help this out. You gotta get some of the hide down here about to the shoulder and then we can attach the golf ball to it and I'll show you how we do that. So let me get started skinning just to start the process then we'll get going. This is really, really difficult doing this by myself at night and trying to film it. So hopefully this is gonna make a good tutorial for you guys, but let's jump in. We've got this process started, skinning down from the neck just to about the point where the shoulders start. All I'm gonna do now is get the golf ball and put that up underneath this hide here about where my fingers are. And then we're gonna cinch that down tight around the golf ball, tie a rope to it, and then strip the hide straight off. You can probably see the heat and the steam coming off this deer, so you know it's fresh. Just came out of the woods, we're able to make the shot just before dark, and so it gets dark so early this time of year. It's actually pretty early in the evening right now, but just pitch night out here, so. The last thing that we're gonna do before we attach the golf ball and try to strip this hide is we're gonna come down here to the feet and we're just gonna put a ring around each one of the legs just to free that hide so that as it comes off, it'll strip straight off the legs like pulling off a sock. I think the coyotes have found me. Now I'm ready to attach the golf ball and for that, I just need one zip tie. The zip tie is actually optional. Once it's pulled tight, the rope will hold the golf ball in place. But when I'm working by myself, the zip tie just helps to hold everything together. Okay, I got the golf ball in there. Hopefully you can kind of see that impression. Now I'm just gonna come around here with the zip tie and just cinch this thing in place nice and tight. All right, so now I'm ready to attach a piece of paracord to my golf ball. And I'm just gonna use a loop at either end of it. One loop is gonna attach to the golf ball itself and one loop is gonna attach to the hook that's on my winch on my side by side. I'm just gonna put this right around the golf ball just like that and then put this free end straight through that loop. The tension is gonna hold itself in place right there around the golf ball just like that. And this free end with this other loop is gonna hook right onto the winch and then we'll start applying pressure pulling that way, hopefully this hide comes right off. I might have neglected to mention it earlier, but this is a heck of a lot easier when your deer is fresh. If it hasn't been refrigerated, worst of all frozen, that hide is gonna come off a heck of a lot easier. Still, I don't know if this paracord's strong enough. Let's find out. All right, here goes nothing. Keep your knife handy just in case there are any places where you have to help free the hide in case it sticks, but this shouldn't be frequent. Oh, and about that paracord. Paracord's not strong enough. At least the paracord that I had wasn't strong enough, but I scrounged around and found a better piece of rope and I was back in business. And you can do this hanging over a tree limb, but the advantage to doing it over an A-frame is when a break like that happens, the deer doesn't swing up and hit the tree, getting a bunch of junk in your meat. Well, that was really it guys that was incredibly incredibly simple i'm so glad to do it that way instead of just sitting there and cutting it inch by inch now i got to get on to the butchering process got a couple days till christmas we got to get this venison ready for the table thank you guys for being with us i hope you found this useful if you did we got a ton of content like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button you don't want to miss the next one we'll see you guys next time merry christmas god bless you